Welcome back to geometry class today. We are still dealing with our surface area um, section. I got the hiccups. I apologize for that. Hopefully they'll go away during this video. Um, this is a continuation of the last video. If you're in my class, we're on worksheet 30 and we are discussing surface area of right prisms. And there's a couple of formulas, uh, but this is basically taking a bunch of different formulas and then adding all the pieces together is what this is. Uh, so on the paper, the worksheet that they have, some have shapes and some are just written out and they need to find their own shapes for that. And then the answer, excuse me, go into a crossword puzzle. So um, this stands for two bases and this is lateral areas. What that means is that each one of these shapes, these poorly drawn shapes on the board, my apologies, I'm okay with the cube, but the rest of them I have a little trouble, especially the trapezoid. Uh, but each shape has their normal shape, this triangle, and there's a triangle. So there's two triangles there and then they have these flat sides which are called lateral faces. And so the formula is to get the area of both of the bases and then add them to all of the lateral areas. In this trapezoid you'd say this flat side, the top flat side, this back flat side, and the bottom flat side. So it has four lateral areas plus two trapezoids and to add all those together. So it's uh, the I guess application is basic math, but all the formulas are a lot more complicated, so it's not necessarily basic, but you're just going to be adding or multiplying as far as the technique, but trying to figure out and getting all the pieces together, that's what takes the longest. So I have the three problems I'm going to do with them on this worksheet, and then hopefully they'll get the rest of it. And then we have one more worksheet, which counts as a test, which is the volume of prisms instead of just the area. Okay, so it's a similar type worksheet. So, a number two, it is just written out and it says a cube with an edge length of six meters. Well, there is a formula for a cube, just like for any other one, but this one, especially to where you don't have to do the area of each side. Um, with this being said, in that formula, we would just take the surface area equals six times the side squared, okay? So order of operation says that we have to do that exponent first. So six times six is 36. So this is actually six times 36, and that's represented with the parentheses right here. And, um, if you have your calculator, you can do that. If not, you can do it old-fashioned way. Either way, it ends, ends up being 216 meters squared. So on two across, you will fill in the 216, and then the meters squared is in one box. And they have it actually filled in uh, that first one so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, so cubes are not that bad. There's another cube on the page. Uh, down three down uh, you'll use the same formula you'll just stick a five in there instead of a six okay if you don't have a picture for some of these most of the time you can use one of the pictures already on the worksheet just cross out the numbers and put the new numbers there okay I didn't do an example of a rectangle because it's one of the easier ones like a cube basically you can do link times width on all of the sides and add them all together if you want to um, so I wanted to focus more on these two because they're the two that take the longest. So four down is a triangle and there is another triangle which is seven across. Um, so you can use the same skills on this to do that one. A triangle, first of all you need to know the area of a triangle, the formula. So area equals one half base times height is the formula of a triangle and this is kind of in that blurry area so I hope you can see that. Uh, maybe I'll write it down here. Area of a triangle is one half base times height. Okay so you have two triangles. You have this triangle right here and then you have this triangle right here and they're the same because these are right prisms so they are the exact same 
So you need to go ahead and get those and that would count as your two bases. Uh, so in this situation, six is my height because there's the right angle and remember it has to be perpendicular uh, with the bottom and then my base is eight. Okay, they didn't write it here, but this is gonna be a six and that's gonna be an eight as well. Uh, so I'm gonna do that formula, one half times eight times six. One half of eight is four and four times six is 24. Now there are two bases, so you must multiply that by two and that right there is gonna give us 48. So that's my first part, 48 plus whatever my lateral area, the lateral faces are. So once you have that, you gotta find out how many lateral areas they are and what measurements or what things are there. So in this triangle, there's this big flat one. If you can kind of see, I'll try to go over it. This big flat piece right here, which is 12. And I don't know what this edge is, which is gonna make me do the Pythagorean theorem, which is just more work to do. But that one's gonna be 12 times something. Okay, I gotta find that edge and I'll do that in a minute. I don't wanna write the rest of them down. Okay, then I have this bottom flat piece, which is kind of like here to here, from here to here. And that, because these are all rectangles, that is eight times 12, length times width. So that one would be 12 times eight. And then I have this back one, which is this piece right here. And because these are rectangles, that's a 12, that side has to be 12. This one would be 12 times six, which is the height there. So 12 times six. Okay, so all I need to do is figure out this number here and then I'll do the multiplication, add them together and add them to that. So it's, it's tedious, I guess. Not necessarily difficult, but tedious. Uh, so in order to do this, this is a right triangle. I need to find the C squared or the hypotenuse. I again have to go back to my Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, okay? And remember the legs, the things that are beside the right angle are the A and the B, it doesn't matter which order. So I will go six squared plus eight squared equals C squared. C is always the hypotenuse, which is across, across from the right angle, okay? So six times six is 36, and eight times eight is 64 equals C squared. 36 plus 64 is 100 equals C squared, but I need plain C to find that side. So I have to take the square root because that's how we undo the squared symbol. And C equals 10 because the square root of 100 is 10. So this side is no longer a question mark. It's a 10, so that's a 10. So that's the information that I need. I don't need, I don't need that anymore. I don't need this anymore. I just need this and this information to answer. Okay, that's also why there's not that many questions on here because they take a while to do. So I'm going to get this out of the way so that you can kind of see what I'm doing and get this out of the way. All right, so remember this was our two bases right here. And now we just need to add up our lateral area, multiply them, and then add them up and add it to that 48 to get our answer. So 12 times 10 is 120. And 12 times eight and 12 times six. Um, I just did this on the page, but for a new one of them was 96. 96 and 72. I just did this work to make sure I could do it, but for some reason I was drawing a blank there. Um, I have those and then I'm gonna add them together with my calculator so that I don't make any dumb mistakes. 120 plus 96 plus 72, and that's 288. So that is my LA, which is right here. So I got 288, which is my LA, and now I'm just gonna add those together, plus 48, and my answer would be 336 meters squared for four down. So that's what you would put there, okay? So that's a decent amount of work for one problem, um, which is why I think you only have eight problems on here. And since we're working three, you'll have five on your own. 
So the trapezoid is the one that is worse. It has more parts to it, therefore it's more work. So I'm gonna move this, erase all this, so that we can work on this. Looks like my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna push pause and have to edit these together real quick. All right. I think I have enough charge on the battery to finish this problem, so that is what we're going to do. This is problem 5 on worksheet 30 in geometry, and uh, it's the trapezoid we're working on surface area of right prisms. Um, so like with all the other ones in the video, you need to do the trapezoids or the basis first, and you need the um, formula for the area. So, area of a trapezoid is one half height times base one plus base two. Because in a trapezoid you have this bottom line and this top line uh, on there. So, uh, we need to go ahead and get the dimensions of the trapezoid parts and do those and then we can do the lateral areas. So with um, the formula here, I have a height, you might not be able to see it, but it's four meters right there. So I have a height and I'll put right here. And then my basis, I have the bottom one right here. Uh, it doesn't matter which one's one or two, but that's a 16. And then I have the top one right here, which is 10, because these are all right prisms. These two things will match, so you can use the measurements off of either one. Um, so there is my formula. Half of four is two. Okay, and then 16 plus 10 is 26, so I really have two times 26, which is 52. Now that's only one trapezoid, 52 meters squared is the area, and I have two. I have this one and I have that one. Okay, so you have to multiply that by 2, and you're going to get 104, all right? That is the 2B, all right? That's part of it. Now I have to do all the lateral faces in the area of those. I have four, okay? I have this one. I have the other side. I have this flat top, and I have the flat bottom, which I'll show you. So, and they, they are all parallelograms or rectangles, so they're either base times height or length times width. Uh, simple multiplication, but there's four of them, okay? So for this one, would be 25 and times five. Um, for this big top one, it's gonna be 25 times 10. And that is because this side is parallel to this one, this one's 25, that one's got to be 25, and that side is 10. That's where I got this side and that shape, okay? Um, we're going to have this other kind of long rectangle side right here, and that one again is a 5 and a 25. It's the same as the other one, so that's 25 times 5. And the last one that I have, I'll do it in a different color so maybe you can see it better. Uh, is this big bottom portion, okay? And that one is going to be 16 and 25, so 25 times 16, okay? So we need to multiply all those, add them, and then add them to this. So I already know 25 times 5 is 125, so I'll write that one twice. 25 times 10 is 250. And then 25 times 16 is 400. Okay, I'm going to add those together. And let's see, that's 250, 125, 125 makes another 250, so that's 5, so this is 900. And then I'm going to take that 900 and add to my 104, and I should get 1,004 meters squared for my answer of five across, okay? So that is your example of how to do a trapezoid. Thanks.
Um, I will do the last worksheet tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed day.